Welcome back everyone for today's preparation only distilled water, sodium hydroxide and 80% formic acid are needed. Distilled water is added to 40 grams of sodium hydroxide. Normally this should be done the other way around. Add sodium hydroxide to water. The reason for this is that there is a sharp increase in temperature as you can see here. The water could start boiling, spraying hot lye everywhere. But by going slowly, you can also avoid this problem. 50 milliliters of 80% formic acid were measured out. A small excess of formic acid is needed. Using distilled water, it was diluted until it had a concentration of 40%. 50 milliliters of distilled water were added in total. If you don't dilute it, you will end up doing the same mistake as I did. Hot sodium hydroxide and concentrated acid. However, if diluted and the acid is added slowly and into cold sodium hydroxide solution, it won't be that bad. The reaction taking place is an acid-base reaction. Sodium hydroxide and formic acid react to form sodium formate and water. Like you were able to see, this reaction is highly exothermic. Therefore, a water bath was used to cool down the beaker occasionally. The last 20 milliliters of now 40% formic acid were just straight away dumped in. At this point, not much heat will be generated anymore. Then we took the beaker outside and boiled off most of the water. It is important to keep an eye on the temperature. Above 261 degrees Celsius, sodium formate will start decomposing. A while later, I transferred the sodium formate solution to an evaporation dish for more efficiency. You should normally use an oven to continue drying it in the end, but I decided to do this. Although it looks quite funny, this solution actually works. Back inside, an hydrosodium formate was gently removed from the evaporation dish using brute force and a spatula. I have to say that I've never had any chemical that was so difficult to remove from some glass. Because I am going to use the sodium formate exclusively for one reaction, I decided to vacuum package it. I am not going to tell you by now what we are going to use the sodium formate for. But I promise that it will be an interesting synthesis of a chemical never seen before on YouTube. There's a good chance that you haven't even heard of this chemical yet. Stay tuned! In the end we were left with 66 grams of anhydrous sodium formate. This corresponds to a 97% yield. If you like this video, feel free to give me one of these. By the way, my crystallization dish broke. One like equals one prayer. And consider subscribing to my channel for more stuff like this in the future. I wish all of you a nice day. Until next time.